three programmers, myself, Catherine, and Crystal, all had basically the same idea. So we got chucked into a group project together. It's taken a lot of evolutionary changes along the way, but basically we each saw this need for representation and for representation with own voices, folks who were actually living the experience of currently being unsheltered or in transitional housing are so often glossed over in Little Rock um, and not given a chance to speak for themselves. So we wanted to offer that opportunity. At Main Library, we have a lot of unsheltered patrons. Um, and as a programmer, it's my role to you know meet the needs of our patrons. And this project was um, my attempt to find something um, outside of the norm, which is often like you know, job seekers, uh, workshops, um, you know, interviewing skills, computer skills, something that was more creative, had fun, and uh, more engaging. My wife was taking a picture of the river and, you know, the view of her taking the picture with the backpack and everything at just the right angle, it was like, yeah, this is, this is something. It's, it's your hobbies that make you happy, not your situation. Your situation can be, you can, you can even have bombs and, and people uh, firing guns and still actually be yourself. You know? It's like what's engraved on, the, on a compass that I originally bought from my wife whenever we were just friends and come to find out it was first dating gift because we got together an hour and a half before I gave it to her. Yeah. <laughs> but life's a journey, not a destination. I, I just looked, I was like, wow, how peculiar. I mean, it's out of the crack. I was like, huh, let me see if I can get it at a good angle. And I got close enough. I said, okay, that's beautiful. So beauty is everywhere. Beauty is everywhere. And it's beautiful. And beauty, um, you can grow. Like, for instance, at our house, I can grow from where I'm at. I know it's like, well, that's not the the epitome of where a flower should be it should be in a flower bed or it should be in a a bouquet but not in a place like pavement or a parking lot I mean honestly but guess what beauty is everywhere just take the time to appreciate it and allow the process to go to grow, to bloom. I think everybody can take their own um, assessment of it, and, and but what I really want is, or my, my goal is that people will see unsheltered people who they might come across on a day-to-day -day basis and might try to ignore them um, and treat them like they're invisible and see them as, you know, human just like everybody else. A bit of humanity. <laughs> I, I hope that folks come to this exhibit and recognize that one, you know, homelessness can affect anyone at any given time. Um, no one is safe <laughs> forever. Um, but two, that just because someone happens to be living outside of a house at the moment doesn't make them any different from any other person. They are full and whole and amazing in their own right and worthy of our respect, our time, and our attention.